One, two, three, fuck it. Hey guys, what's good in the hood? I'm waiting for Barish. He had to run in to pick something up. So I'm chilling in the car, it's rainy. Um, we just picked up coffee at Epcento 606. The coffee is delicious and I tried their seasonal drink which is like an iced sparkling orange blossom Americano. Cause I loved iced Americanos, just black. And this is so good. It's unlike anything I've ever tasted before. It's interesting because it's like obviously carbonated because it has sparkling water in it and it has like this orange flavor to it. It is truly divine. I'm so glad this place is back open. It's not in our neighborhood, but their coffee drinks are really good. I was bummed because I was really craving a croissant and they didn't have any food, but that's okay. I understand. COVID-19, am I right? <laughs> anyway, anybody in Chicago, go to Ipsento 606 and try their seasonal drink. It's phenomenal. Literally not much going on today. Um, I'm posting this past week's vlog and working on a paper for school and that's literally it. So this is so good. I'll never get over it. Morning. Another beautiful day in quarantine. <laughs> I just woke up. I'm gonna chug some water, make some coffee, and see what we're doing. Oh, I remember what we're doing for breakfast. One moment, please. Okay, she back. So ever since Barsh and I have been home together for this shelter in place and he's been working from home, we've been doing croissant Fridays, which is when I make Trader Joe's croissants. So I forgot to do croissant Friday this past Friday and then I forgot all weekend. So I decided we're doing croissant Monday. I'm in the car. I just parked because I'm about to look up directions. I'm taking Lucy <laughs> to her first physical therapy, her first physical therapy appointment after her knee surgery. It's been like two weeks now. Um, so I'm gonna take her to that appointment. I'm also going to run an errand to return the thing that we bought yesterday. <laughs> Love that. And I think I might pick us up some boba tea on the way back because I love boba tea. This is the Chinatown Square in Chicago. And I am so sad because normally this is like absolutely bustling. There's a million people and it's just really depressing to see no one here. Okay, I have secured the bag. I got some bakery items. We have really good stuff to fill bakery. This is some sort of custard bun. I'm not sure. I love trying new things at this place though. I just think it's fun. And then got a little fruit tart most important part of this journey, taro milk tea with taro pudding. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay. So, I got back from taking Lucy to her physical therapy appointment. And since I got home, I have not had much motivation to do anything, which is fine. Um, I have been debating for the last hour or so whether or not I should go for a run and I should have just done it because now I just remember that I have to get on a Zoom call um, with some people in one of my classes because we're doing a group project together. I love a group project. So yeah, running is going to have to wait till tomorrow. This has been another very interesting day in quarantine, obviously. I am wearing my favorite sweatshirt to wear during quarantine, which is the list of the Grinch's to-do list. Wallow in self-pity, stare into the abyss, um, jazzercise, dinner with me, can't cancel that again. I feel like this is really fitting for quarantine and it's really big and comfy. So I just wrap myself in it like I'm in a straight jacket. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I think tonight I'm gonna just uh, have that Zoom call, make Barsh nice some dinner, and maybe watch Taylor Swift's Lover Concert on Hulu, because that premiered last night. Her uh, Lover Concert that she did in Paris, the city of love. Mm -hmm. At this point I'm talking just to talk, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> okay, now that I've been putzing around the house for an hour and a half straight, doing nothing, I have come to the kitchen not to get a snack because we're eating dinner soon and not to have coffee 
And that's what I want because then I'm gonna be hyped too late at night. So I decided to make some tea. So I got this tea at a little store in Valparaiso, Indiana. Um, the shop is called Aster and Gray. And at one point they were carrying these Harry Potter themed teas. Uh, this is the name of the company, Nine and Three Quarters Coffee and Tea Company. I, they do have a website, obviously. There it is. This tea is so freaking good. I am obsessed with it. I got, I think, one other flavor, but I don't think I've tried it yet. But this is phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. So it is now Tuesday. I don't think I've checked in at all today. It is now 8 p.m. I'm just now making dinner. The day has completely ran away for me. Right now I am making poke bowls with shrimp. So right now I am warming up the shrimp in a little bit of sesame oil to give it a little more flavor. And then I'm gonna use um, some lettuce, some cucumber, avocado, and leftover peppers to make the bowls. So I have two bowls. I really like the size of these plastic bowls. The only thing I don't like is that they stain really easily and it's really hard to get the stains out of them if you use like a sauce or something. But I love the size of them, especially for making these bowls. So the first layer is brown rice. They're out of the brown rice that I normally get at Trader Joe's, so I got the brown rice barley mix. It's very good. So I'll split one bag of this between the two bowls. After the rice, I add the salad and the veggies. You should do a salad mix. Um, cucumber and avocado go really good on this. And today I also used peppers because I just had some leftover chopped ones. Okay, so then I topped them with the shrimp that I made. And then I made a sriracha mayo, little sauce to go on it. And this is the finished product. This is literally one of my favorite dinners to make and it's so easy. Hey guys, so it's been a minute since I checked in on this vlog. Not too much is going on. I was really busy filming the Wednesday video, so I've been focusing on that a lot. Yesterday, the day before, but today's Lucy's birthday, so I'm gonna make her some homemade treats. I think I'm gonna use this morning as kind of a clean up catch up, clean up the kitchen, clean up our bedroom a little bit, just kind of get everything tidied, and then I have to really hit the books this afternoon. Join me. I don't know what it is, but just making my bed makes me feel so much better every single day. Makes me feel like I have my shit together a little bit when I really don't. It turned into a absolutely beautiful sunny day today. Looks really cloudy right now, but it's actually gorgeous out. Hey guys, it's kind of a weird angle, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I am in the car. I'm waiting for Lucy to get done at her physical therapy appointment. I don't know why I think it's like the cutest thing in the world, like the idea of her going to physical therapy. Um, her incision is still healing from her surgery, so she can't go in the underwater treadmill yet. So they do a bunch of like stretches and massages and they sent me videos because obviously since shelter in place is still happening, I can't go in there. They sent me videos and like, she's literally just laying there and they're massaging her. Like, it's just so funny to me because I'm like, wow, she's like living her best little life. So truly, it's like I just dropped her off for her birthday massage, so. But yeah, Lucy's eight today. I'm so excited it's her birthday, but I also don't like thinking about her getting older, so we need to move on from the topic. Um, anyway, so I'm sitting out here in the car. I brought a coffee with me. I ordered a, a 12 pack of these for Barish and I because I'm obsessed with La Colombe, and I was getting really sick of coffee shops not being open. So I got the oat milk draft lattes. They're phenomenal, 10 out of 10 would recommend. We ordered them and I think they came like the next day or the day after, they came super fast. And I ordered them directly from La Colombe, but it's super good, literally obsessed. So I brought one of these, I'm hanging out in the parking lot. I brought my notebook, so I think I'm going to plan out some upcoming videos. I think since it's so nice out, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like a two mile power walk or if I wanna do like a quick like 30 minute run. I've been really loving the Couch to 5K app for running. I don't know if I mentioned that in my previous vlog, but that's what I've been using to run and I really like it because I have zero endurance and zero like physical running stamina. So I need to build that up. So Couch to 5K, if you don't have it, is an awesome app. 
I also really like it because if you download the Pro app, which I think is a one-time purchase of $5, I have an Apple Watch, so I can just use the watch for the workout and don't need my phone at all, which is super nice. I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting happening today. I think I might make a zucchini bread. We have one zucchini that's like starting to uh, go bad. It's still fine now, but it's starting to, so I think I might try to make a zucchini bread tonight. And I have a bunch of school stuff to do. I'm so excited for school to be done. I realize that like this is week eight of 10, which is, God, it's like every time I say that, I'm like, I have so much to do. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I don't know why I stress about it because it always gets done. So I'm always just like, Christy, like, just don't even worry about it. You always get it done in time, so like, don't even stress. But I think one of the reasons I'm a little stressed is because I am in three classes right now and they all have final projects. In my one class, it's a final group project, which literally, God, why? And in that same class that has the group project, there's a final. And even though projects and papers take longer, I do not like tests and I feel like I don't do as well on tests as I do on papers or projects. So I just, literally I keep telling myself, first you have like less than three weeks left, which is crazy. I really need to just focus and just get it done. It's been such a weird time, <laughs> but I'm so excited to be done. I can't wait. In other news, I found this guy on YouTube that I'm literally obsessed with. I will link him below. I forget his name off the top of my head. Fab, I'm not gonna mess it up. I'm not gonna say it. I forget his name off the top of my head. But anyway, he is like a music channel. He talks about new releases. He's obsessed with music. He is like a precious angel. Based off of his accent, I would say he's in New York. Um, definitely has like kind of that New York style accent. If I'm wrong, sorry. But I've been obsessed with his videos because he's like a hip hop fan. He loves hip hop music. That's all he's really listened to. And he decided while in quarantine that he wanted to listen to Taylor Swift, who he like literally off the top of his head doesn't know a single song by her. So he's been doing these album reviews of Taylor's albums. Like he's done 1989, Reputation, and Lover. And it is the funniest thing I've ever seen because he is positively shook by how much he likes the music. So I'll link him below. But that has been bringing me so much joy this week watching his videos. So if you're a Taylor fan or if you just like watching precious grown men fangirl over things that are so unlikely, then you should watch it because it seriously has been brightening up my entire week. I feel like this is nice. We have a little coffee catch up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to update you guys. Oh, I did see my friend Billy yesterday. He lives in Buffalo now, but he was here in Chicago for work. So we got together to have some takeout dinner and just catch up. It was so good to see him. I've known Billy for a really long time now. We've had so many fun times together. I love him so much. So that was really good. We did that yesterday. Well, this has been lovely. I think I'm gonna uh, get my journal out and work on a couple things while I wait for Lucy to finish up. See you soon. Random side note, but this is the notebook I'm going to use to plan out my YouTube videos. And it is so cute and pretty that honestly, I like, I'm scared to write in it. <laughs> I think I got it at Harry Potter World, but I could be wrong. It's so cute, oh God. Hey guys, so it is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Actually, every single day this week, I've not known what day it is. I've been confused all week. Ignore all of these like flyaway hairs. Truly, like I can't be bothered to like fix it every day. It's just, it is what it is right now. It is about four o'clock and I've been doing laundry and just kind of getting stuff done around the house all day. And now I'm going to make some chocolate chip zucchini bread and I'm so excited about it. Uh, the recipe I'm using is from Sally's Baking Addiction. I think that's the website. My sister always uses recipes from her website, and my sister is the baker of the family. She's very skilled. I am not, um, but I'm hoping that I don't mess this one up. Let's go. So I've been listening to Heather McMahon's podcast, and I got distracted and did not film the other ingredients for this. So I added chocolate chips, oil, brown sugar, white sugar, and egg, the zucchini, and some vanilla extract. Gently combined everything. And now we are going to put it into the loaf pan. So I think I mentioned this yesterday, but 
Uh, yesterday was Lucy's birthday, and I ordered these molds from Amazon so that I could make her homemade treats. But annoyingly, they just got here today. So I'm going to make her these homemade treats right now. It's just a cup of peanut butter, a cup of coconut oil, and a little bit of cinnamon. I made a huge mess. It was like all over the counter. I just cleaned it up. Not very good at pouring, as it turns out. I also have a problem now where I filled them so much that I can't move them to the refrigerator or freezer to cool. So I guess I'm gonna try to let them set on the counter for as long as possible, and then try to move it to the freezer. I don't know, we'll see. Apparently today is gonna to be Food Friday. Um, I'm making this Kung Pao tempura cauliflower for dinner, it's from Trader Joe's. This is one of our absolute favorites, it's so good. And I'm making some of the Trader Joe's uh, veggie fried rice with it. Super easy, very delicious. So Barsh and I came down to my parents' house in Indiana. We have all been social distancing just to give a disclaimer but we came here to have kind of a little memorial day picnic so it's gonna thunderstorm here in a bit but we are gonna play some bags and have a bit of a cookout hesitate to call on me for anything like you said a human being i'm gonna make you take that chance things have been different for me ever since i met i've never met anyone quite like her before 